it's a real thrive. It's a very thriving artist community here, and there there's so many talented artists. Oh, I feel the artists bring a vibrancy to our community. Yeah, a big vibrancy. The theater, the the music, um, the dancing. I get to interact with a lot of the locals, and they come and uh, you know blow off the steam on Friday night, and then Saturday night. Uh, tend to have a really good time. I honeymooned here uh, when I was 21 years of age, and then I returned when I was 29 on a stretcher to heal from brain damage. Be, the medical world had said that I would be a vegetable and should check into an institution, and instead um, a, a person doing rolfing, which is a natural healing on me, said, try peace and quiet. I can look up straight ahead of me and I see the birds of paradise and I have a bird of paradise plant that blooms. There's over in the other corner, there's one of the ocean. I know the island has been a healer for me. Galliano has been amazing for me for my glass. I think because of the freedom of, um, I've never retailed before. And moving here and opening my own gallery and having, um, we basically have year round people here all the time, it amazes me. I mean, when we first came here, we had a big fight about, um, <laughs> my husband says, nobody's gonna find you, you're in the middle of the bush, nobody's gonna come here, nobody's gonna buy your work. And I said, okay, I'll make you a deal. If I don't sell something before the summer's out, we'll move from where we are on the island. Well, I sold before they even started to clear the, you know, I put a sign up and I was selling. The pieces that are basically my idea of snapshots of the island, I mean, they're, you know, one of those is Trincomalee at sunset, and one of those is, you know, active pass just in that time frame. So lots and lots of vignettes of Galliano. Um, I don't think you could ever run out of subject matter on this island. Also the peace, it's an incredibly, incredibly peaceful place to work. There's this, there is no sound and there's no, um, we have no white noise. It's peaceful, it's good. You do tend to reflect uh, what's around you, the sounds that are around you. And as a piano player in New York, uh, I guess I had a little bit more of an edge to things, like it was, uh, you know, probably a lot more upbeat and a lot uh, more dissonance. And coming out here, I suppose it's mellowed a bit. But it all depends, you know, on, on the human's mood, too. It, not so much the location, I suppose. And playing live, it, it really does depend a lot on what the audience is feeling like. I can get inspired by the most decrepit scene and then get inspired by, you know, what you see around you here. It's influenced me in many, many ways. The peace, the quiet, the and the contrast, the mists, uh, the sunsets, the rainbows, it just goes on and on, the snow. It's quiet in the winter and so there's lots of time for me to work because between heat in the summer and um, people, it's hard to work in the summertime because there's so many interruptions and it's basically, it's too hot for me a lot of the time. So the winter is good, so I need that downtime. and. The garden is not so demanding, so it's sort of a perfect blend for me. Mind you, the winters are really hard here. Like, it's a lot of people really get get, uh, get dismayed by the length of it. And it. You know, it's dark and cold and raining, and mm -hmm. this little past winter was, yeah, we had the big snow, but you know, I'd rather not really talk about yeah. the weather, I guess. I published the magazine for the island, so I know all the artists and they advertise with me. But I've also helped them because I give them lots of space to show off their stuff. But uh, it's not enough to make a, a viable community though. So most of the artists have four or five hats. If you look at me actually a little closer here, you notice that I have to do all kinds of work for a living and lately I've been painting so I didn't get a chance to get the paint off yet. You're on your elbow. 
Oh, do I? They get a shot of that? Yeah, so it's proof, it's true. Yeah. I have chosen to make my living um, through accommodations, through he healing work. And so I'm free to paint without being in a panic of whether it's going to sell or not sell. I love what I do, I, and I love sharing it with people. And yes, it's, it's ultimately really nice when somebody says, thank you very much, I will spend money, because in our world that's affirmation that what we're doing is somehow valid. And I think under <laughs> most artists, are suffering from huge inferiority complexes and we need to be stroked and, and for me the gallery is a space where I get to hear all day long that I make beautiful things. I say to people it's just like standing in a warm shower. It's just like hearing this is beautiful and I, for me that's, yeah money's great but that's way better. <laughs> this island does attract some really talented artists. I hope it keeps on drawing lots of creative people um, and people who want to come and participate. When I say creative people, I also would like to get across that people are creative in how they choose their vacations, what they each choose to put into making their food. It's not just us who make a piece of art and put it on the wall. It's, it's many, many forms. and. One of my things is that I think schools tend to, to honor the person that can make just the right painting or they might hold your painting up and say, that wasn't good enough and you make that creative U-turn that says, I'll never, I'll never create again. And creativity comes in so many forms and I'd love to see more of that honored. Mm -hmm.